the college hockey experience frozen four picks on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by underdog fantasy play their fantasy pickup for a chance to win a hundred times the amount of money you can enter at NHL MLB uh, UFL NBA golf and much much more sign up today using that promo code TCE SGPN to get a hundred percent deposit match we're also brought to you by AVO uh Look, AVO is the premier arbitrage sports betting tool. Uh, use their tool to bet both sides and lock in a profit. Access their platform for free at arbsversodds.com. That's arbsversodds.com. Plus, in honor of Masters Week, Golf Gambling Podcast guys are giving away a tailor made Spider X putter for free. Enter at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash masters. Once again, that's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash masters. Hey, this is Derek Stevens. I'm the owner of Circa Las Vegas. You're listening to FGPN. Let it ride. College hockey experience and the frozen four picks again. Uh, we are down to four. Uh, obviously, Tuesday, April 9th, here we are loaded up, and that music is just fantastic. If if you know your history, NHL 94, that game changed lives. All right, that did more than fucking uh, a lot of things on this planet. A lot of things on this planet that uh, we could break down, and, and maybe we'll do an episode of that in the offseason. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, well, my name is Colby Swigger, database dad, aka Pick Dundee. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. And you're nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, terrorist pussy. And I'm after you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Good night. Oh, yeah, we are down to four. Thursday. Look, you think, oh, March Madness is done. College basketball experience over. No, 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 no. We're going to be talking basketball all offseason. But it's time to focus on the Frozen Four yet again. Because sports just keep on rolling. God bless this country. All right. Just got sports nonstop. College baseball experience driving. College football experience never stops. I know the Masters. We just promoted the Masters. MLBs rolling along. NHL playoffs coming soon. Just rolling. I am joined by my co-host. Uh, he is the host of the college baseball experience. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're watching this youtube.com slash the college experience. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Uh, give it up for Noah Beanick. How you doing, brother? What's going on, uh, Colby? Uh, I'm currently watching along with doing this show. I'm watching my NHL team season go by the wayside with the Detroit Red Wings currently losing to the Washington caps in a very pivotal game for the last Eastern conference wildcard spot. But I do have the Michigan Wolverines in the frozen four as well. Um, by the way, picked all four of the teams that are currently in the pro- frozen four. So if you listen to that episode uh, two weeks ago, we cashed pretty good. <laughs> we did cash pretty good. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm a caps fan. So, I mean, we're dueling here, you yeah. know, Mm-hmm. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, but obviously we have a bunch of games coming up on Thursday. I'm super excited for, uh, you know, what, what's, what's great about the frozen four is that I like, there are times where I love a series, you know, like I love a seven game series at times, but I still think the frozen four one single elimination is pretty fucking awesome. Uh, it's like every game's a game seven. Um, what's, what's your, your stance on that? You like a seven game, you prefer a seven game series or five game series. I think I like the three, like I, I love 
kind of how the college baseball NCAA tournament goes about. Uh, cause you get double elimination pool play and then three game series and then it flips back. I, I like how that's formatted best. Um, I, in my opinion, I wish the NCAA hockey tournament was a little bit bigger if they were going to do one yeah. game elimination. That would be my, they favorite. should do that. They need to get some more money behind it, but that's why we're doing this damn podcast. Yeah. Let's uh, go. Yeah, I mean, look, I know you are. You have BDE right now, even though your Red Wings are losing. <laughs> uh, the the Michigan Wolverines took down Michigan State. First off, yeah. you took down what? Western Michigan? No, no, I'm no, sorry, no, that was no. Michigan State. And, they took down Western well, Michigan. I mean, shit. We had Western on this show. Plus two hundred. They were up. It should have hit. It should have hit. Yeah. They were up four two, and they give up the tying goal in third period to Michigan State with fifty seconds to go, and all momentum was gone. Uh, going into OT. So Michigan finished off the job that the Broncos couldn't do. Uh, we ended, you know, little brother's dream season. They they get back to the mountaintop in the, I mean, it, it was the CCHA, but in the Big Ten, they win the Big Ten tournament and regular season, and we end the season. That, that was that was perfect. I mean, that is <laughs> beautiful. Like, even, was, if, even if you go, even if you don't win the, the, the championship, like just beating little brother, you know, in your I was, eyes, so... I was at Easter dinner with some extended family. Oh my God. There was quite a few Sparties uh, that Sparty grads uh, in attendance watching that misery was tremendous. I now know <laughs> what Colby just, he loves it more than anything. But for those that didn't pay attention to the first round, because it was during the sweet 16 uh, in the Elite of college. Hoops. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't hold it against you. However, if you've not watched much college hockey up until this point of the season, you are going to love this weekend because all four teams are one, two, three, and fourth best teams goals per game wise. It's going to be a lot of fun this weekend. Uh, I think I'll sign up for the over in every game. Uh, (laughs) Sort of. Yes. I think, I think that might be the, the play here. Uh, let's just, uh, jump into it because I mean, I know there's only two games on Thursday, but they are fire Denver, my pioneers, your pioneers too, Beanick. Yeah. Had to sweat, had to sweat, you know, an overtime, you know, controversial, uh, (laughs) ending there. (laughs) Uh, but we got the dub. And the and the Denver Pioneers they had to go all the way to fucking Amherst, you know, like they had to go yeah. way over to uh, so they True took care games. of business. True road games. Uh, now we we head to uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, to take on the private school pussies. That is the Boston Terriers out of the out of the Patriot League. Um, I don't even know if the Patriot League for hockey are they probably something else, right? No. Hockey, yeah, East. yeah. I yeah. always just assume everything Boston is Patriot League. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Boston's laying one and a half on the puck line. The over unders at seven. The money line and for my pioneers is plus 130. And you know, they won a championship what two years ago? Was it was it two years ago? I think it was two years ago. Two years, yeah. They're going back to the dance, baby. And I mean, the dance, I'm talking about the big dance, not this little frozen four shit. They are going to upset these terriers. I'm on the plus 130 money line. And as you, as we just talked about, give me the over on the seven all fucking day. The question is, do you take the one and a half to cover your ass? I say, no, fuck a puck line. Give me the money line. Give me the over seven pioneers. Get it done. There's gold in them. there Hills be Am I a maniac? <laughs> I like that line. Fuck a puck line. <laughs> Uh, at minus one seventy five. No, I, I would rather just take the the plus money on the money line here with the pioneers. I think both of these teams. Uh, I think this is going to be the better one of the two Frozen Four games here. Um, we're really trying to poke holes in the either team that we're trying to fade in this game. I think uh, I would. I'm just siding with the plus one thirty on the money line. The total has gone up a little bit by a half goal here. It was six and a half earlier last week uh now it's at seven but i mean i don't think either one of the defenses here are going to be able to slow down the offenses i mean boston u has macklin celebrini who's going to be the number one nhl draft pick in, in this year's draft 
uh, alongside Lane Hudson and Ryan Green. They scored the third most goals in the country uh, per game, 4.2. Uh, and Denver, they lead the nation in goals per game, 4.7. Uh, and they've got a, a, a couple of guys on the offensive side of the puck that do the job pretty well, and Jack Devine, Tristan Bros, Carter King. Uh, and defensively, they have an offensive unit as well, uh, led by the Bullion brothers. The the Pios are a team that I want to back because of their Frozen Four experience that is still on this roster uh, from two years ago, like Colby mentioned. Um, when when trying to de- decipher this game, DU has had some goaltending issues throughout the season. That's the one thing that nerves me, and that's the one thing that makes them the dog here. Uh, 26th in the country with uh, Matt Davis. He, he has a 2.48 goals against average per game. Um, BU has a little bit better of a goaltending situation, although it's not an elite one in Matthew Carone. So I think Denver's live as the dog. Uh, they are, I mean, the number three team in the country for a reason. I like the Pioneers here in St. Paul. Colby? I mean... I mean, it, it, I mean, I know you're a season ticket holder in basketball, so I, I would be. <laughs> and I'm on the over against too. them. Yeah, I, I'm on the over too. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's there's money to be made in these there hills, so uh, you know, folks, get on over there and smash, smash uh, that bet. Um, that is, I think, a very wise play. Um, now I got to ask you. Uh, well, I, I, that's a stupid question, actually. I was going to say, which one are you more excited about? Obviously, you're a Michigan fan. Uh, Michigan, I, Boston. I, I don't know. I don't know if it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if excited would be the word. I, I don't know if I'm excited for the Michigan. I'm looking forward to it. Um, my hopes are not high. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. I get you. And and it's a letdown spot after Sparty. So yeah, uh, I, I, we'll see about the letdown though. It has been a week and a half <laughs> since still, still, I mean, I just don't think you get up for your rival. You get up more for your rivals than you do yeah. for other teams. Uh, folks, I want to tell you that the college hockey experience is brought to you by uh it golf gambling podcast. Yes, it is Masters Week. Subscribe to the Golf Gambling Podcast. The guys are giving away a tailor made Spider X putter. I got no idea what the fuck that is because I don't golf, but I'm telling you, it's awesome. <laughs> All right. Enter for free sports gambling podcast.com slash masters. Once again, sports gambling podcast.com slash masters. Even if you don't golf, all right. Sports gambling podcast.com slash masters. Even if you don't golf, you, you know, how expensive, you know, one of the reasons why I hate golf and, you know, is how expensive it is. And, uh, so even if you don't golf, throw, get in there, enter that picks contest. You might get, uh, you might get that putter, a tailor made spider X. You could flip that thing for, for some greenbacks. All right. Worst comes to worst, but look, if you love golf, even, you know, you should definitely check out the golf gambling podcast. Cause those guys are fucking fire with their picks and they're hilarious. So check it all out. Um, uh, also, uh, I want to tell you, we're brought to you by underdog fantasy. Underdog fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Uh, pick whether your favorite players will have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to a hundred times the amount of money you enter in a single night. Pick between two or five players to build a pick entry. The more players you add, the, uh, the odds go up. Obviously uh, sign up today with the promo code TCE SGPN. You get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as the instant pick special. Once again, visit underdogfantasy.com. Find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with the promo code TCE SGPN. You get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as an instant pick them special. All right, we are back. Um, you, 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 do you, do you load up on the masters, Noah? I don't, I wouldn't say I load up, but I do watch it. Like this is one of probably six weeks that I watched golf the entire weekend uh, of the year. Um, I played a little bit of college golf. I walked onto the golf team. No shit. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't watch it. Like, uh, like I, I wish I, I wish I paid more attention to it, but this is the one weekend where I, one of a few that I pay attention. To, gotcha. That, yeah. That makes sense. look. Golf movies, in my opinion, much better than golf the sport. 
got Caddyshack, I, you got Gilmore, you got Tin Cup, you got Heat. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you there. And I, I would just say those three are probably the only three. Well, they I've made a seen. sequel to Caddyshack. It wasn't very good. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the <laughs> sequel. Um, there's one other one that I, I've I've seen golf movie that I can think of. Oh, Legend but, of yeah. Bagger Vance or something. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That, yep. that one. Uh, yeah. I just think that's uh, that's just, I mean, but hey, the people love the Masters. Go check them out. You know, um, I'm clearly in the minority here with my golf take, but I, think, I uh. I think, my golf, I, I think my master's winner this year is going to be Xander. I like Xander. I'm falling for Xander. I did turn in a DFS lineup. So that makes that might make me watch a little more than I normally do. I'm 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 holding off because there's always there's always a slate that gets better weather uh scenario than the other. So I'm holding off until like Wednesday night to submit my DFS. There we go. But yeah. Check out the golf gambling podcast, folks. Um, but now we are back to frozen four picks, and uh, he's he's been trying to duck it. He doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> His Michigan Wolverines let down city after beating their arch rivals. Although that you think they would have the crowd here, just with the proximity to uh, to Minnesota here, yeah. Michigan Michigan's getting a a uh, one and a half on the puck line at minus one fifty. Taking on Boston College. I normally have a theory that you never bet Boston College athletics except for hockey. Um, the over unders at seven, and uh, the money line for these Wolverines is plus one forty. BC on the money line is minus one eighty, and I think we load up on minus one eighty. Sometimes you know they're they, like I know some people say, well, that's too crazy. You know, minus one eighty. No, I think if you really think they're going to win. Just got to put down a substantial amount. My, doing, my rule, that? I mean, just doing the college baseball experience, baseball is a money line sport. Usually minus 180 is good for me. Um, anything over 200, that's when I start to either I'll look at the run line slash puck line or I'll just money line parlay. Um, but I'm I'm still willing to lay minus 180. Usually I, I just go 1.8 to win one full unit. So. That's my uh, philosophy around that. Yeah. So I, I mean, look, this is a great spot to fade Michigan. They just beat their arch rivals. I'm all over BC at minus 180. I'm also on that over. Like I said, the overs are, you know, they're gonna slap off this this uh, this this, this, <laughs> this Thursday night. All the overs are slapping off. Um, buddy, why? Are, I know it's your team, but build yep. me the case. Because I don't even know if you want to pick this game, do you? This is the game that I feel more comfortable giving out picks for than the other one. Okay. Okay. Well, why is that? Uh, it's Boston College all the way. <laughs> I mean, like, if, if I'm doing my duty here at like doing this show, I have to give out the Eagles. And this is so Michigan being a three seed, 10th overall, I think their seed line was. Had they not gotten red hot to finish off the season in late February, early March, to even be an at large in this tournament, they wouldn't they wouldn't be here. The week and a half off in between the regionals and the frozen four, I think hurts Michigan more than anybody else because the defense has been questionable more than anybody else. And you're now going up against Boston College who has the most stacked line since the CCM line with Michigan in their three freshmen and Will Smith, Ryan Leonard, and Gabe Perot. But also, Cutter Gauthier is <laughs> unreal in his own right as well. And the, the handicap here, I, I had one of my favorite handicaps in the first round being fading RIT against... Um, who did... Who are they against? It was Boston. Yeah. RIT against Boston because RIT took a, a lot of penalties and BU had one of the best power plays in the country. Well, the same thing here. BC has the number one power play in the country. Michigan takes the eight most penalties in the country. They are probably more than likely going to get burned against a very, very good offensive team. 
my prediction here is Boston College is scoring like five or six goals in this game. Uh, and the over is going to hit really easily. That's my favorite pick in the uh, entire two games. Also, I, I feel pretty good about the money line, but also the, the puck line, I think, at plus money is a great play on BC. Um, the fact that you're getting Michigan, who's a three seed going up against the number one team in the country by far, in my opinion, in BC, they're plus 140 only, and Denver's plus 130 against BU. I just think this is mispriced. Um, the, this game, in my opinion, looking at the two, I think Greg Brown has just – he wins. And with Boston College, he was the last one that led them to a national title. Him now being the head coach here, I think this is the team that BC is going to do it with again. Um, yeah, he was on one, that staff in 2012 that won it all, right? On the on the roster. Oh, um, the roster, yeah. yeah. The one edge that you can build for Michigan is if Jacob Barshevsky just stands on his head. He's a grad transfer from Canisius, fifth-year senior. He's 25 years old. Uh, he played pretty damn well against Michigan State and North Dakota in the Maryland Heights Regional, close to his hometown. Uh, if he stands on his head ag- again, he could defy the odds of the poor defense, the most likely going to be on the penalty kill type handicap here. Um, because BC's goalie is a 19 year old true freshman in Jacob Fowler. However, he's been great everywhere he's been highly touted prospect hasn't done anything to shatter those expectations. And, you know, last year with the Youngston Phantoms, he only led them to a Clark cup uh, with a 1.36 goals against average during that time. So he plays his best hockey under the bright lights. I, I don't see it here for Michigan against BC, but I do see a lot of goals scored for both teams. Yes, the over in both games. Kind of like that as a parlay, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but I'm on BC as well. Look, they haven't won a chan- a natty since 2012. By the way, I think uh, Greg Brown, when he played, uh, he was on the staff uh, from 04 to, to 2018 as an assistant, right? And then he played prior to that, I believe. Um, So, but I, but e- either way, I mean, this is a guy that uh, is former, uh, you know, coach of the year. Back to his, uh, back to his, you know, New York Rangers days as an assistant. He just knows hockey through and through. He's gonna put it on those, those Wolverines, buddy. And look, it's been twelve years since they won a national championship. So this is always, away. this is always the spot too where Michigan jokes. We were talking about that was a topic of conversation on the last show. Michigan usually gets the Frozen Four, and then they choke there. Like they've had loaded teams the last couple of years, and they've lost in the Frozen Four. So. I think it's the correct time to fade the wolves right here. All right. Now look, I'm going to read an ad, but I want you to think about between both overs and both game lines or yeah. uh, money lines. That is not, not puck lines uh, ranking all four in strength of order. Okay. So, uh, but before I do that, I want to tell you folks out there that the college hockey experience frozen four picks it's brought to you by AVO. Yes, we are proud to partner up with AVO, the premier sports betting arbitrage tool. If you're new to arbitrage sports betting, it's very simple. Basically, betting both sides of a bet at two different sports books to lock in a profit. The AVO tool uh, scans sports books looking for discrepancies in the odds and then tells you how much money you need to place with each sp- sports book to basically make a profit. Uh, the tool is super easy to use and it's lightning fast as obviously speed is such a big part of arbitrage sports betting. Uh, and the best part is AVO is, uh, is, is completely free to use without any restrictions. That's right. Folks completely free. Get started today at uh, arbs versus odds.com. Once again, that's arbs versus odds.com. It's a R B S versus odds.com. All right. We are back here on the college hockey experience. And, uh, Look, two games Thursday night. I can't wait to watch these games. And uh, let's uh, like to me going power ranking these four plays. Am I crazy that I would put the overs before the actual money lines? 
I like the BC money line best. And okay. then the two overs, then the Denver money line. But I also I, I like the BC puck line a little bit more than the Denver. B- Honestly, if you were to ask me how I how I'm playing this, I'm I'm taking the BC money line, BC puck line over in Michigan, BC. And then I'm going into the Denver BU game. And I'm taking Denver uh and BU over and then the Denver money line. Uh, yeah. So you're not as, taking the puck line in Denver, Boston, which uh, it makes sense. Uh, and look, yeah, I, I just don't think it's worth the squeeze. And I hadn't taken the puck line uh, in Michigan, Boston college game, but I think you just sold me because Boston college is plus plus one twenty on that minus one and a half. Uh, all right. It makes sense. Um, there are, there are props for the game. I, I would say this like Massimo Rizzo is interesting. Um, for DU because he's a guy that has missed, I think it's like 14 games due to injury, but he was leading the country. I think it was, he, he was definitely top three in points. Uh, and he's a goal scorer plus 180 if he plays. Uh, there's been rumors and rumblings that he's going to be back for this game at plus 180. I, I think he'll be ready to go. Uh, to score a goal here for uh for Denver against Boston. Um in in a high scoring game I think that's a great play. Do you who do you have won it at all? There are some futures out here still. Well, that's what I was going to say is it is super juicy. Plus 450 my Denver Pioneers bringing back the title. Um it's worth a sprinkle, man, because I have Denver and Boston College play, and so you might as well. And look, I like kind of playing both. I think it makes sense. Like, just take put a hundred bucks on uh, BC. Put I might even put a little bit. Like I don't know. Put, I put a hundred bucks on both BC and Denver. I think it'll be fine. For plus four fifty. I mean. Come on, that's good action right now. When there's only four teams left, and we think they're going to win outright in this game. So that means all they'd have to do is win one other game. Am I crazy? So we're just going to give out three teams total of the four to win it all here. That's what we're going to do. Are you jumping on Michigan? No, I'm on BC. I I mean, at BC, I had plus 250 pre-tournament to win it all. Then now plus 150. What I would do if I'm out there looking to play BC to win it, I wouldn't take the plus 150 to win the Frozen Four. I would, I would roll it over from the minus 180 money line against Michigan. Then you're going to probably catch a minus 140 ish. Should they play BU or minus 150 if they play Denver? Um, and I, I think that does you justice of the plus 150 there. So that would be what I, what I do. Folks follow Noah being man knows a thing or two about this frozen four action. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish I had more games to to break down. Quick little thirty minute episode to get it done. Uh, Noah Phoenix on Twitter at Noah B seventy seven underscore. I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. The College Hockey Experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Give us all a follow. YouTube.com slash the College Experience. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. We talk all college sports. So like, uh, you know. Obviously, we host the college basketball experience, the college football experience, the college baseball experience, the FCS college football experience. So get on over there and check out all those all those solo podcasts. Even though we all come together as one on YouTube, YouTube.com/slash the college experience. And don't forget to check out our other stuff, sports gambling podcast. Uh, that you know, been doing it for a while. Every Friday night on Veasan, uh, Veasan Sports Network. There, uh, Brent Musburger's network. Also, um the UFL gambling podcast. We got the UFL going along foot spring football. Who doesn't love it? Check it out. I host that. I also host the CFL gambling podcast for the, any Canadians listening this year. I am your host on the CFL gambling podcast. We're ramping up. Check out the bottom line bombs podcast. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's enough shameless promoting, um, but uh, folks, big 12 experience, big 12 experience. Podcast. Yeah. If you're a big 12 fan, even though none of these programs are in the big 12, check it out. They talk big 12 college football, college baseball, college basketball, uh, working on the hockey side of that. Um, (laughs) they're working on that. Uh, 
But yeah, check out the Sports Gambling Podcast Network as always, folks. Get the SGPN app. It's free to download in the App Store and Google Play Store. You'll get access to all of our picks, our articles, our podcast, our content, our uh, special stuff that we give out. Um, so until next time, because I can't wait. Thursday's awesome. This is the college hockey experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here.